Welcome back to Crusaders Jerseys. I am Cowboys Crusader, and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at a majestic replica Texas Rangers older style home jersey. But really, the reason I'm reviewing this jersey is because it's in a particular style that bugs the everlasting hell out of me. I loved, of course, how can you not love the classic simple look of the Texas Rangers jerseys. Uh, well, unless you're, of course, the uh, Angels, Athletics, or Mariners. But uh, this is a older style home. This is what we were wearing before the new, um, you know, modern jerseys came out. Um, but the reason I'm showing you this is because this is one of those customized replicas that MLB Shop did. Um, and I got this, my God, I must have gotten this in like 2007, 2008. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's two, uh, 2008. But anyway, so uh, this is, of course, a replica. As I said in my uh, Padres review, the replica uh, jerseys that they used to make are much, much higher quality than they are now. Whereas the modern one are the single stitch, kind of like single layer flat twill. These are actually multiple layers, um, but the reason I'm doing this is this does have a name on the back of it. Of course, there's no number on the front, but see, this is why. This is for the motherfuckers. Oh my god, there's a new player on the team. Oh my god, this jersey has the person's name on it. We don't give a fuck. Uh, they're basically taking advantage of the people who do not know what the real jerseys look like on the back. So, of course, this is Hank Blaylock. This was one of my favorite players before he left. Um, you know, a lot of memorable games, a lot of memorable moments with uh, with Blaylock. Um, I, hell, I remember a game in, uh, I think it was 2009, July 1st, against the Angels. Uh, I think that was the last good game he had with us. But anyway... Uh, we're just going to take a look at this jersey, because really, for the first, like, for the front, it's fine. And, of course, if you don't care about it looking authentic, then you don't give a goddamn. But, um, let's just take a look at it. So, of course, it's a full bun button-down front. Very basic look, very plain, very simple, uh, but it it's a still a very classic look. You've got a single, um, you know, piping on the sleeve. There's no flag on it, um... I did a review of a, a replica uh, jerseys where I added the flag patch on. Of course, if you bought it, this is what it looked like. There was no f uh, flag patch. You had to add that on uh, after you got it. Um, but, of course, you get this uh, navy blue piping. Um, you know, of course, any Rangers fans will remember, you know, the Rangers were wearing these when they weren't terribly good. <laughs> um, but anyway, so, on the back... You have the single layer, blue, twill, number, and letters. If you wanted it to be authentic, it should have been, I believe, uh, the same as these. <laughs> so, black outline with a red border and blue inner. So, they're just going blue. Um, so, we'll move in here so you can see. Of course, you can see it's just a simple single layer um, you know, stitching on here, and of course the number 9, which isn't even in the same damn font. This is in the incorrect font for the name, this is in the incorrect font for the number, yeah, but see, here's the thing. When I bought this, I just wanted a Hank Blaylock jersey. And this was in 2008. It's kind of hard to find a Hank Blaylock jersey for whatever reason. He was one of the, the star players on the team, but you couldn't find it. So uh, I go on MLB.com. I see a customize your jersey option, and I think, well, okay, I'll customize it. Maybe hopefully the picture that they show on the uh, the customization page is different. They'll just, you know, change, the, change what they see to the correct lettering. Boy, I was wrong. Uh, big disappointment there. But anyway, um... This is the jock tag, of course, majestic. Um, again, full button down front. Uh, buttons are kind of like a, an opaly substance. Of course, here's the neck tag that kind of got, I was a little too uh, <laughs> zealous in ripping out the, um, the tags on it, but oh well. Uh, of course, you got majestic on the neck. And um, uh, of course, you have the majestic 
uh, shoulder felt, which um, it has stuck around. <laughs> so um, anyway, um, no, in, in the end, look, I guess if I wanted to, I could remove the name and number uh, and just make it a blank home jersey. Um, but I mean, I, I, I wanted a Hank Blaylock jersey and I still have a soft spot in my heart for him as a player, you know, it's just, it's, it's, it's a, it's a sad story, but, um, you know, this still brings me back, uh, very fond memories of my childhood. So anyway, um, that is the majestic, uh, replica home white Jersey sawn the flag. Um, of course, if you're getting just a blank or you're getting, um, the, the replicas, uh, you're probably better off um, you know, either not getting the name, or if you're getting the name and it's a replica, make sure you see a number up front, or else it's not going to look right, unless you don't care, in which, whatever. Still a cool jersey, um, you know, I, I, like I said, I wish they, they made them as good as they used to, um, but obviously you've got, it's a simple white jersey, the blue piping works, the blue letters with the red outline, and the black uh, shadows, I guess, work very well. Um, you know, staple of the Rangers uniform lineup for almost a decade, so <laughs> what are you going to do? But anyway, um, if, if you were to ask me, am I happy the Rangers changed to what they're wearing now? I would say yes, I love what they're wearing now. I love our modern home whites. I might do a review of the uh, home white jersey that they wear now. Um, maybe, I'll see what I'll do. But anyway, um, again, that's it for this. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.